excited to introduce you to Bellini. It's one of our newest yarns. It's super bulky and it has this really fun fringe on it. It comes in six different colors right now and with some really cool multicolor effects. And it utilizes a unique way of knitting that I'm going to demonstrate to you now. So after we take off the label, you'll see that it's one piece and it's 11 yards long. And you just want to sort of stretch it out. It's in a loop. And you'll notice that there are small pieces of string that are holding it together in that loop. You just want to take a pair of scissors and clip those so that we can be ready to use our yarn. So this is what Bellini looks like once you've removed it from its packaging. You'll see it has the track construction where it's got these nice holes and on the bottom is the textured fringe. Now with a normal yarn you'd be using this all as one item, but with this we're working only into the track. So each one of these holes is going to be your stitches. To cast on, I'm going to skip the first two holes and go into the third. So instead of wrapping the entire piece around my needle, I'm just inserting my needle into this hole. And that's one stitch cast on. I'm going to see this marker here. And I'll know that separates the first hole from the second hole. I'm going to go into the next hole. Just wrapping it around my needle. That's two stitches cast on. Couldn't be easier. Skip this little marker. Go into the third. And now I have three stitches cast on. Just do five just to get started. And that's how you cast on. Now let's move into the knit stitch. I'm going to turn this over. So I have this in my left hand. Get my other needle. By the way, I'm using size 10 and a half. 6.5 millimeter. Uh, you can use size 11, you can even go up to a 13 since this is super bulky. So before you get started with your knitting, you just want to make sure that you've got all of your pieces of fringe on the same side of your yarn. So you can see that nice track at the top. So you're going to do the knit stitch as you would any other yarn. The only difference is once again, you're only working into these holes. So for our first stitch, I'm just taking this hole and wrapping it like a normal knit stitch, pass up and over off the needle, just like normal. So I've knit one stitch now. For the next stitch, I'm going to make sure I go past that marker, take my next hole, go up and over, knit as normal. It's really just that easy. So I'm going to knit a few more rows and then I'll show you how to purl. So purling with Bellini, we're going to do the regular purl stitch and just with, like with the knit, you're going to be using the track instead of the full length. So you're going to go into the front, wrap it around like you normally would, lift up and over. The important part again is that you're working only into the track. So every single hole is its own unique stitch. So you can combine one row of knitting and one row of purling to do stockinette stitch in Bellini, and that way you'll get your fringe on one side of your fabric. I'm going to do a couple of rows of stockinette to show you what that looks like. So I've knit about eight rows of stockinette, and I just want to show you the difference between garter and stockinette. So here with the garter, I'm knitting every row, and you'll see that the texture is the same on both sides. Whereas with stockinette, here at the top, you'll see that the right side of the piece, the piece where I'm doing my knit stitches, it's totally flat. You're seeing the tape, or the, you're seeing the track portion of the yarn. Whereas on the wrong side, you're getting 
a slightly denser texture because all of the fringe is on the same side. So if you were, say, knitting a cowl flat, you might want to do stockinette so all of the fringe is on the outside. Whereas if you're doing, say, a scarf that you just want to drape around you and you want both sides to be the same, garter stitch would be for you. So now let's take a look at how to bind off. And again, this is going to be pretty much the same as knitting, but we're going to use just the tracks. So we knit the first stitch, knit the second stitch, lift up, and over and off your needle. And continue this till you get to the last stitch. Now we've got our final loop, and normally what I would do here, if I were just knitting, I'd pull this up. But since this is a track and it's attached, you can take your scissors, just clip a little ways down. Then you want to take your end and just push it through your final loop. Now you'll notice that you have some extra yarn on both sides. And because this is such a textured yarn, what you can just do is weave it in and out with your fingers instead of using a blunt needle. And that'll hide your ends without having to weave them in and out with a needle. And you want to make sure you weave in a couple of stitches so that it's nice and secure. You don't want your yarn to come poking through. And that is how you knit with Bellini.